Let's bring in the Director of Chemical Evaluation and Research at NAFDAQ, Dr. Patrick Omokbariola. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. I mean, just thank listening to much. that report, just watching it. I don't, uh, want, to eat I don't want to eat fruits anymore. And I yeah. love my mangoes, I love my bananas, the mm -hmm. pineapple, papa, all the fruits mentioned mm -hmm. in this report mm -hmm. and more. Oh. Scary. Poor you. Scary. Yeah. Mm. Very scary. Yes. Mm -hmm. What exactly, f first off, help us understand how deadly these chemicals are. The calcium carbide and other ones that have yeah. been mentioned, including formalin, to yeah. even preserve uh, our good old pomo. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's really uh. very terrible. Yeah. These chemicals are really very, very poisonous. Calcium carbide particularly is um, it's a, it's an explosive chemical mm. itself. Wow. And calcium carbide alone itself is poisonous, but that is not all that is there. Commercial calcium carbide has two other chemicals that are there, which are also equally poisonous. One is phosphorus, the other one is arsenic. Mm -hmm. You know, arsenic is a metal and is the most poisonous metal ever. Mm -hmm. Arsenic. And all these things are there. And for whatever reason, people use it or the calcium carbide to uh, attempt to ripen fruit. You cannot use calcium carbide to ripen fruit. Because calcium carbide, when you add water to it, it produces a gas. That gas that it produces is not what is ripening fruit. That is the acetylene gas. Acetylene gas is totally ripen fruit. The gas that ripen fruit naturally is the one called ethylene gas. Mm. Acetylene is just an analog. It's just trying to mimic what ethylene gas is doing. And so many of all these people using these chemicals do not actually know because majority of them are actually not educated. They don't know all this I'm talking about now. Mm -hmm. But we have been doing a lot, we are making a lot of effort, that is NAVDAC now, right. yes. through the effort of our DG to make sure that we sensitize the general public. Mm -hmm. In fact, in 2023, between 2023 ending at 2024, we went around four, uh, sorry, eight locations in Nigeria, Abuja, Lagos, and then the sixth geopolitical zone. Mm -hmm. I was the one that even led the team on this ripening of fruit. And I think you are one, one of them, I think, uh, that's why you are, you are in one of them, if I'm not mistaken, I can't remember now. Mm. Yes. And we went around the whole country mm -hmm. to sensitize everybody mm -hmm. and to inform everybody that there are alternative ways of ripening fruit. You do not have to use cashew carbide under any circumstance. You are not supposed to use cashew carbide because cashew carbide is not brought to the country mm -hmm. to be used as fruit ripening chemical mm -hmm. no it is not okay. we this brought to the country for welding wow oh, yes no. that is the major reason for all this uh, uh, iron and the rest of them iron works we use it for welding mm -hmm. because it produces the acetylene gas which is used for welding that is the purpose of bringing the casual carbide and we brought in casual carbide to be also used for to produce acetylene gas that is used in the laboratories mm -hmm. and in a number of uh, analytical equipment okay. that is the purpose of that other gas All not right. for okay. killing people uh, uh, that might have been my colleague Olije Wapera that covers okay. health oh, okay, including okay, NAFDAQ, yeah. but that's okay, okay. Thank um you. i have to ask how widespread is this is this across the country do we see it's more in any region and what are the risks of nigerians i mean we've spoken to people on the street yeah. mm. but you are NAFDAQ. what are yes. the risks of consuming this fruits that are ripened artificially by these products yeah this problem started around lagos and abuja is the major metropolis in the country mm -hmm. but it is fast spreading to other parts of the country because you know evil always find a way of uh, festering here and there and a lot of people using all these things they don't know actually what they are doing mm -hmm. but because or deliberately they do it for whatever reason for profit or anything i don't know they are just merchants of debt because these things, they kill a lot of people, much more than many other things. That, that is it. So the danger of these chemicals is this. The first one, let me start with the cashew carbide itself. Yeah. Mm. Cashew carbide, as I said, causes a lot of damage. If you eat anything containing cashew carbide, the first thing you are going to notice that you are most likely going to have sore throat. Mm. You will have sore throat. You know, most of the people will say, oh, maybe I'm having flu or whatever. No, mm. it's, not, it's, not, it's not flu. You are having that sore throat as a result of the impact of that <coughs> cashew carbide on your system that is the fourth thing mm -hmm. and then in addition to that very one it will lead to dizziness mm -hmm. it causes dizziness and then your eye you know there will be this kind of peppery kind of uh, eyes mm -hmm. and then i will bring in uh, some water and the rest of them watery eye yeah, yeah. watery eye rather i don't mm -hmm. do this thing so a lot of all those other effects then the uh, uh, arsenic itself as i said is the most poisonous meta after arsenic the next one is mercury mm -hmm. arsenic itself when you eat arsenic 
it causes neuro kind of uh, problems mm -hmm. in the brain, straight in the brain, and it's mm. going to affect whoever that takes it. And then there will be uh, diarrhea immediately. Right. Arsenic, yes. Mm. There will be diarrhea immediately, and a lot of them. Phosphorus, on the other hand, creates its own problem also, mm. especially to pregnant women. Oh when they eat it, yes, it is true. It's not a lie. Mm. It is true. Pregnant women, when they eat all those fruits where these things are used, yeah. it creates all those problems that it gets right to the fetus mm. of the baby. So it's really it's a very dangerous thing. It the is. problem yeah. is this. They even go ahead to non-climatic fruit to ripen it. Non-climatic fruit are fruit that cannot, once you have harvested them, they mm. can never, never ripen further. Yeah. Like orange. Ah. Like watermelon. If you, however watermelon is, if you pluck it, if you harvest it, that is where it's going to stay. It can never be ripened much more than that. Right. But they will use it. And that is why in places like Lagos, now you but can hardly see what this kind of is. I mean, it, it's good to hear that NAVDAC is, you know, doing what it can to enlighten people. But are you speak, Are you reaching these people in their own language? Like you said, these people are illiterate, they're ignorant, yes. they don't even know the, the impact of what uh, they're doing. And is it safe to, you know, on this platform to even say, look, these are the alternatives to calcium, carbide, and yes, other... Yes, I will give that very yes, well. Yes, please. The first uh, uh, outreach we had with them in Lagos, mm -hmm. we went to the market using Yoruba language, because virtually all of them... Yoruba, they at least they understand Yoruba, mm. whoever. Yeah, we went Yoruba. to the market Do you to you go Yoruba. and say, Emma, look, I Yes. I was, I was there. I was part of that team that oh. went. And we took our staff and some other people. We even brought in some all these um, no, Yoruba uh, actors yeah. right. to help to speak to them mm -hmm. in their own, the way they will be able to understand mm -hmm. in that very program. And so it is just a case that when you meet them, the first thing they will say that we don't know, we don't use it. Mm -hmm. But it's a lie. So talking about alternatives, yes. A lot of alternatives are there. Right. There are a lot of things you can use to ripen fruit. For example, your banana peel. Mm -hmm. That is normally ripened banana. Mm -hmm. If you put that banana peel, just the banana peel, with your unripe plantain, unripe banana, that thing will be ripened immediately. With, by the next day, you will notice a change. If you use uh, rice, because mm -hmm. it's not going to dirt your rice, you can wash your banana, wash your whatever you wanted to ripen, mm -hmm. and then you put it, just cover it. Just gently cover it with this, with uh, the rice. It will ripen. Why it ripens is this. It is the ethylene gas that is coming out. Because right. it's a natural process. Ripening is a natural process. Mm. It can be done. And the best type of fruit you should always buy, buy the one that is not yet ripened. Let it in your house. You can ripen it okay. in your own house. All right. You we don't have, have, to, we have to go. But uh, how can Nigerians mm. identify... identify. Yeah. Are there visible signs of fruits that have been forced to ripe, mm -hmm. uh, you know, that are dangerous? Yes, there are a lot How of... How do you identify them? There are a lot of very visible... Like uh, banana, visible. for example. How okay. do I know? Yeah. <laughs> Please, go ahead. Uh, I know you have a farm. Oh, you, you know that. <laughs> okay. It's okay, yeah. For banana particularly, mm -hmm. if you see a lot of patches, black patches, you have black patches, black patches, black patches, mm -hmm. it is never going to be smooth, yellow color. Of the like the banana. bananas we used to buy in Ore those days. Yeah. They're, yes. they're, they're, they're very, not even there anymore. Yes, very, mm -hmm. they're also, they're not there again. Not there mm -hmm. uh -huh. Though there are some parts because I drove around some part of the country recently and, you saw? and I saw, yes, fine yeah. bananas. So is the there. signs, also. the signs to watch yeah. out for black patch. Mm -hmm. Black patch, and then you are going to see a, a powdery kind of dusty. Uh, of sorry, our it. producer okay. just told us that there's a banana on the screen. Can yeah, you tell if this has it. been artificially ripened? No, that one that is in the middle, that one, the first one that you are seeing there is not artificially ripened. That oh, one, the very seen. fine, the smooth that one. That fine, full one. The not right wow. You have okay. to have trained yes. eyes. Okay, so it should be smooth yeah. and it should fine. should be smooth and fine. I used to think those were the dangerous ones. Because no, 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 no. Ah, okay. No, no. Any because other this thing cannot, you see, the issue okay. is that it cannot ripen it properly. It okay. cannot. Mm. How about mangoes? And mangoes, mangoes. Mangoes is even the same. Because, and oh. another one, if you are peeling your mango, uh -huh. and even banana, if you are peeling your banana, and the banana is not, the peel is not coming out. It is right. artificially ripe. Oh, wow. Yes. Mango oh, wow. is the same thing, mm -hmm. and that is it. What about the issue of flies? Because we heard one of the respondents there say if you don't <laughs> find flies around the fruit. Yes, is that a myth or is it true? Yeah, is it true or it's. Meat, it is true. It's a myth that yes, flies. Yes, for meat, it is true. Because if they use formalin to preserve oh, it, that meat, is what. Oh, oh, yes, beef. Beef. beef, yes. Oh, wow. If there beef. are no flies around the beef. Yes, because those no other previous, the uh -huh. one that they, they sold yesterday, there's no uh, electricity mm -hmm. to, to, preserve. to preserve it. Mm. So they use all those so other things. it's beyond fruit. It's yeah, beyond fruit. fruit. And that is the yeah. distance. So, but mm. Naptak is doing a lot. Recently, we acquired some uh, 
uh, equipment, rapid test equipment. Okay. Great. That yes, we mm -hmm. acquire some rapid test equipment. The DG order for it. We, we have acquired it. We are doing test run all across before we launch it okay. in a uh, canoe. Because it's also very prevalent in canoe in Abuja here in Lagos. We are doing test run in about three states. Okay. And then once we are through with that very one, we are going to take them out to the. Let's not forget Ungo's question. The question yes. was: When you see flies around the fruit, like they speak, one of the mm -hmm. respondents said, is yes. it true that that is safe to eat? For yes, if there are no flies, if there are flies there, it's yes, safe. it's just like beans. If you buy, you, you buy your beans, and there is no single this thing there, it's just shiny white. Okay. There is chemical there. All right, Nigerians, you've heard it from yeah. the experts. Thank you so much. Thank you very for much for the work you do. Thank but you very much. look we'll carefully yes. next time you're going to yeah. buy fruit. Yeah, so we expect to see this. more awareness yeah. from from yes. yeah. Nabda, and yes, perhaps persecution be. or prosecution yes. mm -hmm. we, 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 of offenders. Yes, we 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 we, we definitely we are we are, a number of people have been arrested. Okay, but maybe for Malaga, you know, we're able Thankfully, to find out. Thankfully, the Senate is about to criminalize. Yes, that, that would be fantastic. And I sincerely want to, from right from my DG, we really want to appreciate the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria for this wonderful effort. And we are hundred percent. In support uh, of what they are doing. I Thank think most Nigerians yeah. are, if not all, in support of that. We need to eat what is safe. Yeah. Director yeah. of Chemical Evaluation and Research at NAVDAC, Dr. Patrick Omok Pariola, speaking there. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank you very much, Ungozi. I'm uh, thank you. Adesa. Adesa. I'm thank sure Ungozi so. is going to plant <laughs> more trees. So, more we, 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 we will come to Ungozi's farm and then have You're welcome. Some. You're welcome.